and I'm hungry. I don't want to buy Hey, y'all. Uh, it's Sid. I'm so happy you're here with me on my vlog today. Uh. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, you might... So, you might notice that the quality of this video might be a little bit better, and that is because... I got a new haircut. <laughs> no. That is because I got a new camera. Ew. Extra. So, I got the Sony A5000, and I got it on Depop. Repping rep Sony life, though. Mm -hmm. I got it on Depop, which is like this thrift store kind of app. Um, and so yeah, this is what I'm going to be filming with from now on. <laughs> Bailey's really excited about it. <laughs> Shout out to my mom for being so amazing. Uh, she ended up actually paying for half of the camera, oh, yeah. which is so awesome. And, you know, my mom has always supported me in whatever I wanted to do. And she's always just encouraged me and wanted me to do my best at every single thing. So I just want to say, Mom, I know you're watching this. Shout out to you. I love you so much. We love you. Shout out. And thank you for helping me with this camera. So today, we'll be having story time with Bailey and Sid. And for this first story, we will be telling you guys how we met, which is a pretty good story. Yeah, if one... I say. One... So one story is true, one story is a lie. Mine is true, his is the lie. <laughs> she, she was real quick to say what hers was, that means she's lying. So, we'll just you know, jump right in and we'll let y'all decide who's really telling the truth and who's not. I mean, I'll be comfortable when I'm telling my story and she'll be like laughing and giggling and <laughs> kind of nervous, probably sweating a little bit because she's not telling the truth, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, do you want to start it off then? Sure, why not? Where, ah, where to start? We've been dating for almost two years, mm -hmm. so almost two years ago, um, we met. That sounds so crazy to say that, like, almost two years ago, like, we really have been dating for almost two years. Are you going to let me tell my story? Or okay, what? Yeah. Like, okay, okay, come okay. On. So, almost two years ago, calm down, almost two years ago, we met at North Highland Church, and, oh gosh, I guess to begin, I've already told this story once earlier today, which is kind of weird, but I'm telling it again um, on the same day. Not a coincidence, I guess it was practice. But we met at the church, and when I first saw her, I, I just thought, you know, she was just a pretty girl, but I was like, she's, she's a girl. Yeah, like a girl, like... I thought she was probably 16 years old, um, maybe even 15. Oh, uh, 15! Just give or take, you know, it just depends okay. on who's looking. Okay. Um, but I just, you know, saw her. Um, and I think the first time we ever actually introduced ourselves in person was on the basketball court. You know, I was out there dribbling, doing some moves, splashing a few shots. I, I'm lefty, you know, I got that shot. Um, some people, some people, okay, let's not get a big head. <laughs> some people call me Larry Bird, you know, Larry Legend. Nobody calls him that. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know. But anyways, he comes over and guards me. Um, you know, I, I cross her up a few times and then I just sprayed. <laughs> I sprayed like three in a row in her face, man. Three in a row. She, she ain't got no defense. But, you know, I mean, with each shot, there was a succession of interest that she found in me. Um, oh, you so <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, anyways, yeah, I mean, it's, anyways, it was obvious, but you know, from that point, we just kind of became like slight little friends. Uh, we would see each other. Uh, she used to go shopping with some of her friends at Publix, and I worked mm -hmm. there, and that's when I would see her, and I would kind of wave at her, and um, one of my friends that worked there with me at the time was like, oh, she's kind of cute. And I was like, yeah, I mean, she's pretty, but she's only like 16. That's literally what I said, like, word for word. I was like, yeah, she's only 16. Um, but then a few days after that, little did I know it was her birthday, 
Um, we had followed each other on Twitter at that point, so I saw the little balloons falling on the screen. I was like, I bet. So I sent her a, a direct message, which apparently it, when you send a direct message... Okay, listen. No. So you know how on your birthday, everybody, all they do is they, they just at you, and they're like, hey, at so-and-so, happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. But he went out of his way to DM me. Well, I've heard all about it. How you to think. To DM yeah, me and tell me happy birthday. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then he was flirting with me. Let me just clarify. Let me just clarify. He I, apparently didn't know that. Yeah, thank you. I had just gotten Twitter, just started using it. I have no idea how social media works. If you look at my Instagram feed, it's like half of the pictures are blurry pictures that are taken in the lowest quality possible. <laughs> I have no idea how to use social media, no idea how to edit photos, any of that stuff. I'm clueless. So I just sent her a DM because You're it was a birthday. Clueless, and I said, happy birthday. Congrats on turning 12. Because you look like a 12 year old. And she said, oh thanks, but I'm actually turning 18. I was like, hmm, interesting. He was like, ooh, now's my time. Uh, I mean, we just, we just, it just sparked a conversation. <laughs> you know, she kept the conversation going. We were just chit chatting, having fun. And about three days after that, I was like, you know what, I'm tired of direct messaging. Like, what's the point of opening another app just to text someone? Well, let's talk about so, the conversation. So, so, so what I did is I, I just gave her my phone number, and I said, look, I'm tired of using Twitter direct message, so just text me. And literally .5 seconds <laughs> after... I sent her my phone number. She was already texting me like, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, I was like, I was like, it's in the bag, bro. I got this. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the messages during the three days that we were DMing each yeah, other, okay? I mean, I'm just he saucy. was hardcore flirting I'm with just me. A flirt. Like hardcore I'm a flirt. flirting with me. And then and then and when then, and then when he texted me, or when he DM'd me and said, okay, look, just text me, here's my number. We were in the middle of a conversation, and so I, when I texted him, I carried on rude. the conversation. She didn't seem rude. I carried on the conversation, because that's what you do, we were in the middle of a conversation. So when I texted him, I responded as if I was responding to the DM, and keeping on the conversation. Yeah, that's fair enough, but I mean... Definitely in the background of your mind, you're probably like, I cannot wait to text him and give him my number. Okay, just, just like, being honest, just, like just being honest, I did think that he was a funny guy, and I did think <laughs> that maybe if something happened, I wouldn't be mad at it. I've never said that to you before. Yeah, I knew you would come clean. I mean, it's obvious. You text me so fast. Oh like, my God. You, you were into me. You were feeling me. I mean, we were feeling each other. It was a mutual thing. But I'm just saying, you always try to deny it like you had no type of okay, okay, feeling for okay, it. Okay, it's okay, like, okay. Whatever. Okay, well, you had feelings too. Not feelings. I was just like, she's cool. Okay. Another thing to say about how we met is that our friends, Mylene Paxton, um, they actually have a YouTube channel too, and we will link theirs down below. But our friends Miley and Paxton, I was best friends with Miley, he's best friends with Paxton, and Paxton was apparently whispering some stuff in his ear about me. It's like literally one thing, okay, one time. Okay, okay. And Miley was whispering stuff to me about Bailey, she was like, oh you'd be so cute, like y'all be so cute, y'all should date, we think y'all should date, blah 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 blah. And I was like, no, his hair is too curly, <laughs> blah blah blah. And Miley was what like... What shallow reason is that? Ugh. Miley was like, you're just being so superficial. Yeah. Oh, uh, but, I mean, they guessed it. But, I mean... Two years at, later, here we are. Look at me now, like, the glow is real from two years, like, and I got a haircut today, boy. And then look at her, like, power couple. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what else do we have to say? Is that it? Oh, the day of my birthday, we went to El, El Carrizo. Yeah, and I... Was supposed to buy her some chips and cheese dip. Yes. But I never did. Okay. But so, that's how you get them. You, leave, you you make them want something, then you don't get. It. So Miley told a couple people that we were gonna have a birthday lunch thing for me after church from for me, and 
he DM'd me and was like, oh yeah, maybe I'll buy you some queso or something. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah that, that'd be nice. The queso. Chicks but, love the queso. <laughs> but I actually didn't have um, enough mm. time to stay in order because me and my mom were going to go do something. And then he DM'd me and was like, he said something like, oh, I didn't get to get it for you today, but next time I will. Or something like that. Yeah, it's just like a little hint, like, I'd like to, you know, buy it for you some other time. <laughs> <laughs> so what else I guess that's it that's kind of how we met and then the next year on my birthday he did me again and it was like he said the same thing that he said on the very first time he did me he was like hey except he added a year he's like hey congrats on turning 14 no, 13 was, yeah 13 whatever she thought it was the sweetest thing ever uh, yeah <laughs> okay anyways is that it is that basically it Everything? Yeah. Well, there was the one, the one other funny detail of when I saw you at Publix that one day, I had the knee brace on the outside of my pants, and y'all were, like, <laughs> throwing shade on me. Oh, but, no. But I was, standing, I was standing with her door open, like, on the passenger side, and I was looking in the door, like, talking to the driver, Miss Shalanda, and she was just, like, looking at me, like, checking me out. I wasn't... <laughs> looking at him in a ooh kind of way was i was just at, looking at him like, no i was looking at him because he was talking like <laughs> whatever you don't have to i wasn't even talking to her i know but you were still anyways and then so after you closed the door kennedy who is shalanda's daughter was like "Ooh, he closed your door blah blah, blah, blah. he likes you and i was like <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> I didn't like her at the time, but I would eventually like her, and now I love her. <laughs> but that's about it. I mean, it's a pretty simple story, but it's yeah. funny, especially the basketball part. I was like, <laughs> so that's our love story. Well, the beginning of it. The beginning of it, yeah. yeah. It's still yet to be told, all of it. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> So, I guess that's it for today, guys. We will be making some more videos really soon, and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> one, two, three!